Emic Pivot, that is what leaders of crayons to computers are calling their continuously changing plans. Yeah, this nonprofit provides teachers with school supplies and how they're getting the supplies out is changing once again. WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer live with their latest efforts. Good morning. Good morning, Adrian and Julia. All right, so we've been out to Crayons to Computer several times since students were returning to school, at least in some capacity. In August, they were offering just uh, pickup kits, so they prepackaged a bunch of school supplies for teachers. You could drive up and pick it up, by, by, but by late September, they were letting teachers back in because it's really important that they can kind of shop and walk through and see exactly what they need. Well, here we are in November and things have changed. Now we're doing online ordering and some curbside pickup. So Cranes to Computers is still very much able to help teachers that are in need. And uh, in fact, President and CEO Amy Cheney says that it's kind of a bit of a, a whiplash with all of these changes, but they are focused on their mission, which is leveling the playing field in the classroom so students in need have the tools that they need to succeed in school. Right now, inventory is still good. They have about 80 different items available for teachers to order, including remote learning items like dry erase boards for students. Now. They are struggling to keep up with demand from teachers that are able to just order so simply online. The first day that we opened the window for online ordering, in the first 18 hours we had 340 item, um, orders placed. And when we opened the window on Monday of this week for orders for next week, we were ready to take 120 orders and it was filled up in less than 30 minutes. So it's been very, very popular. OK, so they do have enough school supplies to get to teachers. The biggest problem is getting volunteers that can pick and pack those orders. They say a lot of uh, the folks that usually volunteer to do that are retired teachers, and so they're down to only about 25% of their usual volunteers. So if you're interested in something like that, hey, if you're good at shopping, they uh, could certainly use your help. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer. Jen, I'm going to send it back to you because we're talking about the cold this morning.